The ROG Ally is here. It, it's like a, a Steam Deck, but a bit smaller, a lot whiter, and a, a lot more Windowsy. Is it any good? Is it amazing? Is it a Steam Deck killer? Well, I don't know. I'm not here to answer that today. Today, we're just going to open up the box and see what sort of experience you're in for if you buy one of these things. Oh, God. I'm so frustrated right now. Oh, wow. Well, hang on to your butts because this is going to be a bumpy ride. Hi there, I'm TechDweeb, welcome, thanks for clicking on the video today. It's no secret that I like white things. I like snowballs, I like toilets, those are white. Uh, vanilla is my favorite flavor, that's usually white. I like white GPUs, and I like white PCs, my main PC is white. White keyboards and mouses, I like my Steam Deck of course, but my Steam Deck isn't white. However, you know what this is, don't you? Yeah you do. Don't play dumb. It's that white Steam Deck thing, right? The ROG Ally. So this was given to me by one of my subscribers. His name is Mark and he does a board games podcast called So Very ROG About Games. I'll include a link to his stuff in the description below. You should check that out if you're into board games. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't mine to keep. He just lent it to me to make a few videos about. I will do a full review and maybe another video, but this video today is just sort of an unboxing and first impressions kind of video. I'm going to walk you through what it's like to open open a, a, a ROG ally and get it all set up. Will it be a seamless, amazing experience like the Steam Deck? Well, I doubt that, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I've never really made a video like this, a sort of extended unboxing first impressions thing. Eh, sorry in advance if it ends up being super boring. All right, let's just freaking open this thing. I'm going to be using my official unboxing knife, the Schrade Old Timer. <laughs> I love this knife uh, for two reasons. One is that it's a Schrade, which is a, a good knife brand. <laughs> you knife nerds, you all know Schrade. And second, it's just exactly the, the basics that I like. It's, it's got a good quality blade and a little saw and the classic tweezers and pick. Overall, it's a great little useful, versatile pocket knife. I give this thing a 8.5 out of 10. Okay, fine. Just unbox the stupid tech toy. God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the, the box at all. I got to give this back to the subscriber. So I'm going to be as careful as I can here. Alrighty, uh, let's get in here. And well, uh, well, there it is in its white glory. <laughs> oh, look, the inside the lid. There's that uh, cardboard stand thing with a rog on it. All right, I'll try that later, I think. And here we are, the guest of honor. But first, let's take a look at the box. We have the charger, of course. In the package here, we have a bunch of papers, a bunch of word, word papers. A Federal Communication Commission Interference Statement. That's very important stuff. Thank goodness that this is here. Okay, uh, but let's look at the charging block real quick. Let's take the plastic off first. Oh God, is this one of those plastic covers? Uh, why do they do this? Oh, come on. Is this how it goes? Why do I have to tear this off like a Neanderthal? Just make it easy for me, please. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I mean, let's get the knife. There we go. <laughs> I did not appreciate that. This unboxing experience just went downhill real fast. Okay, uh, what is this? Oh, man. That is the tiniest writing in the whole freaking world. Uh, 65 watts with an attached USB-C cord. <laughs> okay, this makes up for the plastic thing. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, what am I even doing? I'm unboxing a ROG ally and I'm playing with the cord. What are you, why are you even watching this? Well, here we go. The ROG ally. Let's uh, get the plastic off carefully. And there it is. Um, okay, well, uh, first impressions are that it's heavier than I was expecting. It, um, in the hands, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make a great first impression to me. I mean, it just, it feels a little angular, I guess, a little sharp. I'm sure you'll get used to it really quick. And um, one thing I'm noticing right away, uh, these buttons on the back. You, you know, I've seen these in the pictures and other reviews, and I, I assume they were kind of standard paddle buttons or whatever, but they're really substantial feature of how this thing feels. They stick way out. It's, it's hard to describe, but they're actually like major grabbing points. And they have a, a shape to them, this kind of angular, chunky shape. It feels almost like rocks or something, like a plastic rock sticking out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to uh, need to pay as much attention to these as I am. 
I mean, first impressions are f first impressions. You you know, th things will feel different after I've had it for a while. But um, th the first impressions of the ergonomics, the way it feels, uh, they're not amazing. But there's been lots of devices over the years that I didn't like at first, but then I ended up enjoying. So take all this with a, a grain of salt. All right, uh, let's do a tour first, I guess. Uh, let's start. Oh. Huh, knocked over my little plant there. Uh, let's start with the back because that's the easy part. We have this strip here. Uh, that, okay, looks are subjective. Everyone has their own style, their own aesthetic, their own preferences. I think that this aesthetic that they went for here with all these diagonal slashy lines and the ROG logo with the, the, the slashy lines, it, it feels kind of like cheesy gamer style to me. Kind of childish, I guess. I, I feel like this would have been a lot classier of a device if they just went for a more simple, tried and true aesthetic with these features. I mean, I, I'm sure lots of people will like this sort of thing, but lots of people won't. Whereas something like the, the deck, for instance. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the way the deck looks. It's a bit on the bland side. But I mean, things like this vent here. This is just a simple design. It feels like, I don't know, something you'd see in your house. Just like a symmetric grill with rounded edge holes. It's like, it's like nobody would have a problem with this. Whereas the Ally, it's more interesting, sure. But if you're not into this aesthetic vibe, then you're not going to be proud to have this. To, to whip it out in a coffee shop or whatever. Whereas the Steam Deck is just kind of normal looking, so maybe it's not going to catch the eye of lots of people, but at least it won't turn them off. It's subjective though, I admit that. <laughs> it's just not for me, I guess. But I'm a grumpy old man, so what do I know? Sorry, I got uh, sidetracked. Uh, let's continue the tour. We have nothing on the bottom, so this is not compatible with the kind of dock that you would just slide it into, which is okay, neither is the Steam Deck. And then we have those buttons on the back. Well, that's that. So let's do the uh, top now, I guess. So up here, of course, we have the triggers and the bumpers. Oh man, the texture they have on these. Uh, like, I, I, I don't know why there's so much texture. My fingers go up there and it's like, oh, okay. What, why am I feeling so much grippiness? That's not normal. Huh. Uh, maybe that'll grow on me too, but it feels weird at first. I do like the visual aesthetic they have on these buttons though. I don't mind the visual aesthetic they have going on with the device in general. This kind of chunky, almost primitive shape to lots of these features. That's kind of cool. I guess I feel like this and this, they feel a lot less cheesy and gamer-y than this and this. It's almost like they have two different aesthetics going on. This kind of polygonal, caveman, chunky look to things. Almost looks like it's hewn out of stone. And then they have this sleek, slicey, cyberpunky stuff going on at the same time. Like, just stick with one, you know? Okay, okay, I, I, I'm being too picky. I, I acknowledge that. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Micro SD card hole, uh, headphone hole, and this is the XG Mobile interface right here. So this is for attaching external GPUs. Yeah, Asus makes some really nice but really expensive external GPU expansion, if you're a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire, yet. I don't know if the guy who loaned this to be is, uh, maybe he is. Oh, hey, if you are a billionaire, then uh, can I keep this? Because uh, yeah, you're a billionaire, so you can just send poor old TechDweeb a free ally, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, volume up and down, charging and power indicator, and a power button. And then on the front, uh, we have a D-pad. Okay. Uh, oh, what's up with this D-pad? Oh man. You know, you know, I don't mind when the D-pads are like this. In this kind of dome concave shape. But this one doesn't give a good first impression. I think it's the shiny glossiness. And then it has these grippy bits on the directions. And they, they feel super obvious under your finger. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being all hypersensitive. But I, I don't think so. I, I notice this immediately. Like it, it feels like if I'm doing some Hadoukens. Then these knobbly bits are, are chafing on my thumb. I've heard other people complain about this D-pad. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to it later. This is uh, just uh, first impressions, of course. And then, um, what's next? Uh, the buds. How do they feel? Uh, they're a little bit uh, clacky, I guess is how I describe them. Uh, maybe a little hollow feeling. I've, I've heard other people say that these can actually get stuck. Uh, let's see. 
they are very low. They don't have a lot of travel at all. They're, they're very loose. You, you see that? There's a lot of wiggle to them. I, got, I gotta remind myself, what does this Steam Deck feel like? Oh yeah, these buttons on the deck are a lot more firm. They aren't like wiggling around on me the same way the allies are. Okay, yeah, the, the Steam Deck feels, I guess, a lot more familiar, right? closer to like the handhelds and controllers that I'm used to. The, the, these ones on the ally, they look cool. I like the colors. They added a little splash of color without being too gaudy. And I can't make them stick. I've, I've heard from others that the buds could stick and I could see that, but I, I can't make these stick. So that's good. They, they just don't feel great to me. They're a little too flappy and floppy, if, if that makes sense. Uh, I should be clear again, lots of this stuff might only just be a first impressions issue. I've had similar feelings many times with many devices that I ended up loving after living with them for a while so you know wait wait for my full review because i might change my mind by then oh wow oh those joysticks do feel good though um uh, okay uh these are really nice um uh, they um uh, how to describe uh they're they're not very springy they have a, a, a very loose tension which is a good thing it feels like i could be a lot more precise with these and the, they're really big thumbsticks as far as handhelds go so there's a lot of distance for them to travel which means we'll probably have a lot more uh, fine tuning and analog control that we'll get from these there's a bit of a rubbery texture on here that doesn't feel great on the skin of my thumb but again it's uh, maybe something you'll get used to uh, we'll see how that feels uh, maybe it'll get like worked in after after a few days of usage. All right, and then we have our four front-facing function buttons. What do, they, what do we have here? So this is the Xbox View button, also known as the Select button. This one down here, I think, is to open the Asus Command Center for like quick settings that you could change on the fly. Uh, on the other side, we have the Menu button, also known as the Start button, and another Asus button. I think that this is the Armory Crate button. And then there's two dots. Uh, maybe these are microphones. I'm going to assume dual microphones. And then obviously front facing speakers with that slanty angular grill pattern that makes it look all gamery. Well, there you go. That's the tour, the unboxing experience. I've realized that this video has been long, but whatever. I'm not going to stop now. I want to get to the point where I'm playing a game. That's the end goal. I'm not gonna do uh, any game testing or anything like that, but just getting to the point where you can play a game is all part of the first impressions, I think. So let's hope that this setup doesn't take too long. Uh, shall we fire it up then? And okay, we have the Windows stuff coming up. Just a moment, so polite. All right, well, uh, at least the controller works out of the box. That's convenient. Well, okay, let's go through the setup here. Standard setup stuff. Uh, this might be hard for you to see, but this right thumbstick controls the mouse cursor. And, uh, oh, uh, I can't click this button. None of these buttons are clicking connect. Uh, okay, I can use the bumper, and that's your left click. Okay, uh, so I gotta type my Wi-Fi password here. Why, why, why is no keyboard coming up? I, I can't. Uh, so there's no keyboard. Uh, none of the controls are bringing up the keyboard. Oh, come on. Give me a pop-up or something. Oh, am I really going to have to connect a keyboard to get this thing set up? What, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, look at that. Okay, uh, the command center button. That brings up this menu. And there's a keyboard button. So I just need to mash every button on the device. Uh, it's fun stuff. Uh, keyboard. Hello? Uh, keyboard. Oh, God. I'm so frustrated right now. I can't get past this setup. No touch keyboard. I've actually got to go find a USB-C hub or dongle or something to finish this up, setting this up. I'm so bad I feel like swearing. Okay then, uh, here's what we'll do. I have a USB-C to USB-A adapter and we'll plug in this keyboard. And hopefully this will let us continue the setup process so we can use our toy. Uh, hopefully we don't run out of battery in the four seconds it takes to type my Wi-Fi password. I'm going to plug this into my lovely white keyboard that I have up here. This was initially a prop for the video just because it was white. So maybe this was fate. All right, my password. One, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. Good. Uh, there we go. I'm going to plug this back in because I don't want this dying. I have no idea what the battery status is yet. This is just the nature of Windows handhelds. That there's a, a bit of jank when you're setting them up. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, maybe Asus had some magic to streamline the process, but obviously not. And now we got all the regular Windows stuff. Uh, agree to the license. Sell your soul to Microsoft. Agree to have your data collected. Agree to have advertisements shoved in your face. You know, all that fun Windows stuff that we have to deal with on desktops. We get all 
all that here. <laughs> Lucky us. And, uh, okay, uh, look at that. We have Windows, finally. <laughs> oh, that setup was a pain in the buns. Okay, we have Steam pre-installed, apparently. That's nice. Let's uh, get a game installed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna fly through this next part. It, it took about two hours to get the game going, not including downloading the actual game itself. About two hours of messing around. You'll be given update after update. Windows updates, firmware updates, Asus system updates, AMD updates, Armory Crate updates. At one point, I was booted out to the BIOS to do a BIOS update. And you really don't want to skip these updates because who knows, right? You know, maybe something won't work and you don't know if it's because it's broken or you skipped an update. There, there are so many moving parts to this thing, so many layers that every time the device tells you that you need to do something instead of playing your games, it, it makes you worry that it's just going to break if you don't. I had the gamepad stop working and needing a reboot. And then, uh, at one point, the start menu didn't work and I needed to reboot for that. And then Steam was crashing when I tried to install a game. It's not fun. It's not fun. You know, I don't blame Asus entirely. You know, lots of this jank is just Windows jank. But I mean, Asus chose to go with Windows on this device. You know, they wanted the appeal of people being able to play Fortnite and Xbox Game Pass, Windows games and all that stuff. And this is the trade-off right here. All of the freedom and all of the annoyances of Windows on a handheld. That, that's what you get here. I'll talk more about this in my review because that's a big part of what makes or breaks devices like this. However, Despite all this, despite all the frustrations and annoyances, when I actually got into a game, holy crap, it's it's magical, you guys. It's insane that they were able to get this level of performance in a device that costs what this thing costs at the size that it is. Just trust me, it's special. My unboxing and setup experience was a dark, cold, unforgiving journey, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. That'll be in my review, which will be coming soon. This is just a first impressions, after all. There's a lot to figure out. You know, I want to give Armory Crane a good test and Command Center and figure out all the little quirks and stuff. I, I don't want to give that stuff an unfair assessment based on my initial impressions because it needs some deeper testing. So, um, in total, there's a, a few things about it that I feel different about than what I was expecting. I won't list them all because I've already mentioned them in the video, but let, let's just sum it all up by saying that the Ally is not perfect. Some parts of the controller experience are not great, its aesthetics are not going to appeal to everyone, but the gripes are all pretty minor in the big picture, I think, and I bet they'll kind of fade away once you kind of just get used to the device. I mean, the setup experience is terrible, and just Windows bullcrap in general, it's like a dark cloud that's constantly hovering over the ally. <laughs> but we buy these things to play games, and I haven't tested it a ton, but when you're actually gaming on this thing, it almost makes all of the minor gripes and the frustrations and the headaches a non-issue. Almost. Anyways, uh, I hope you found this video informative, or at least entertaining. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of this thing? Do you have one? Are you thinking about getting one? And more importantly, tell me what you want me to do with this thing. I only have it for a few weeks and I need some video ideas. So please let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Or don't if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't yet for some dumb reason. <laughs> and that's it for me. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye